Good morning and welcome to Rock Harbor. We're glad you came today. Whether this is your first time with us or your thousand and first time, please take the yellow card from your bulletin and fill that out to let us know you were here. And if it is your first time here, we have a free gift for you at the coffee bar in the lobby. So be sure you stop by after the service and pick that up. For some of you, it's your first time at Rock Harbor. For others, it might be your first time with the entire church experience. So awesome that you came today. Uh, we're going to do our best not to make it weird for you, but in all likelihood, some of us are going to slip up and you're going to see and hear things that just make you go, what? So as, as a public service, I'm going to try to defuse the awkwardness right now and give you some announcements as well. We'll start with the obvious. Why do we stand up when we sing? I mean, it's not like it's the national anthem, right? Uh, first and foremost, we stand because it's just honoring and reverent to God. But there's also a practical reason why we stand up during our singing time. Because uh, when the sermon starts, we're gonna be sitting for a long, long time. This will keep you on your toes as well. There's a new time for tonight's multi-church prayer service, 5 p.m. at Shoreline Calvary where believers from throughout our area will join together for an hour of prayer. Then, this Thursday, don't miss our missions prayer meeting at 6 p.m. in Pastor Randy's office, where you can pray for the missions and missionaries we support at Rock Harbor. Now, a lot of us have been in or around church for our entire lives. We speak fluent Christianese, which I'm sure sounds strange to those of you that don't. So you may hear us occasionally slip into our native tongue and use strange expressions like, uh, we just want to love on you. Frightening, right? <whistles> now, if one of us says, bless your heart, we're not praying for your cardiovascular system. That's what Christians say when we do something dumb, like, oh, you thought the time change was this weekend and you came to church an hour early today? Bless your heart. Ladies, you will be blessed a week from Thursday when Rock Harbor hosts the annual Women's Connection Country Fair Luncheon with live and silent auctions, sales of crafts and baked goods, plus an inspiring guest speaker. And on Saturday, November 10th, it's the monthly men's breakfast where guys are invited to enjoy great food and fellowship along with video teaching from top Christian teachers right here at Rock Harbor. And remember, next weekend really is when we turn the clocks back one hour. So be sure to do that before Saturday night bedtime and get that extra hour of sleep. Okay, last but not least, let's go over a few things you could possibly be hearing from our own Pastor Randy during this morning's message. At some point, he might ask you to turn to your neighbor and repeat after me. Uh, if he does that, it means I've lost my place in my notes and I need a quick distraction. At some point, he'll say, I'll close with this. When he does, it means... <clears throat> Nothing. And at some point, he might use an expression that we're uh, still trying to figure out. But what Paul is saying, if you're married and in spiritual leadership, that guy must be a one-eyed woman. <laughs> Bless his heart. Well, you're up to date, and I thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the service. <laughs>